Hi everyone, and welcome to Sif Young Artist, where we nurture the artist in you. I'm sure you recognize the song that I just played. It's from one of the biggest movie hits made about 20 years ago that people still watch today. If you haven't seen Kal Ho Na Ho, pause the video, cancel everything you have for the next three hours, and go watch it right now. My name is Ishan, and I will be your guide for the piece that we're learning today. We are going to be learning the opening two lines of the hit song from the film Kal Ho Na Ho. This theme also features throughout the film as well, if you notice it. This tutorial is placed at level one. It's quite easy if you have some experience playing the keyboard, but a bit of a challenge if you're a beginner. If you need any help with understanding the concepts or ideas that we use in this tutorial, click on this link to get a better understanding of these things. Well, Kal Ho Na Ho, so let's get right into it. Let's start with the first line. Har ghadi badal rahi hai, rupa zindagi. You start with your right hand to play the melody part of it. Keep your middle finger on C sharp, this note right here. And we're going to be playing C sharp and C to play the first part. Har ghadi badal. So those parts are all the same two notes played again and again. So we start with C sharp. So let's just try that one more time. Har that's it. So notice that one note is a little longer than the other one. So we're stretching the C sharp and then playing the C really quickly. So you get that sort of swing in the music. So har, khari, badal, rahi hai. So let's do that next part now. Badal rahi hai. So one, two, three. And then on the fourth time, you play the C sharp again, but you don't go back to the C you reach the F with your pinky finger, here. So you get this run of C sharp, F, D sharp, C sharp. So one, okay, so let's play that one more time. Now let's put those two parts together. So one, two, three, and on the fourth, you get this line, right? So that's har ghari badal rahi hai. Then you go back to the C to play Rupa Zindagi. So Rupa Zindagi, which gives you this repeated pattern again, almost like you had C sharp and C, except now you have it on C and A sharp here. So watch how I'm turning my hand. I'm putting my thumb on C, but my pointer finger reaches A sharp, and my middle finger easily reaches C sharp as well. So this position is a little strange, but once you get comfortable, it makes it really easy to play the piece. So let's go again from the beginning. One, two, three, on the fourth one. And then you go C, A sharp C, A sharp C. So that happens thrice. One, two, and you wait on the third one. And that's the first line. Har ghari badal rahi hai, rup zindagi. Now the second line is the exact same as the first line. So all you really have to do is play this twice. So we start. Second line. Easy as that. While your right hand is playing the melody, what will your left hand be doing? That's right, you'll be playing accompaniment. You'll be playing a set of chords that accompany the right hand and create harmony with it. So let's get into what the left hand is doing for these first two lines that we just played. So let's start with our left hand in the middle of the keyboard, near middle C. It's going to be playing the C sharp major chord. You don't need to know what the chord is. I know that sounds very, very complicated, but it's just three notes at the same time. So let's look at what my left hand is doing. My pinky finger on G sharp, my middle finger on C sharp, and my thumb on F and I play them all at the same time. This is the first chord that I'll be playing. So when I start this piece with the C sharp of my right hand, I play this chord with my left hand at the same time. So for all of that, I'm just holding down the same chord with my left hand. But when I get to the next bit, that's when there's a small change in this chord. So instead of G sharp, C sharp, and F, I'll be playing A sharp, 
C sharp, and F. Hardly any difference. These two fingers stay the same. They play the same two notes. It's just this pinky finger that moves a little bit. So this chord becomes this chord. So let's see where exactly we put that chord in. So we start with the first one. And then here. Okay, so you get har ghadi badal rahi hai. And then the moment you get to rupa zindagi is when you change the chord. So again. And the exact same thing for the second line as well. So when you get to chai hai. And that's it. So just these two simple chords with your left hand. They're very similar. You only have to move one finger when you're changing them. But be careful not to get confused between them. All right? That's the first two lines. Simple as that. Practice many times until you're able to get it smoothly without actually stopping or hesitating in the middle. Now that we've got the first two lines, let's go into the next line, the third and the fourth line. Let's start with our right hand here. So we've just played Dhup Zindagi, right? From here, you stretch your index finger just a little bit to reach G sharp. And your hand takes a new position once you play it. So play G sharp, and your hand takes up this position. So from here, you reach G sharp. So G sharp, A sharp, C sharp, A sharp is your har pal yaha. So So notice how my hand sort of shifted to accommodate these new notes that I'm playing. Right? And then I go to the next part, which is again all black keys. So make sure your hand is pushed up a little bit on the keyboard so you can play these keys, especially with your thumb because it's a short finger. So we have this bit again, which goes into har pal ya ha, and then I have F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, G sharp. So one more time. G sharp, A sharp, C sharp, A sharp. F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, G sharp. So give it that little bit of stretch, that little bit of swing, so it sounds like the song is being sung. So notice between my second and third notes, there's a little bit of a stretch. So try and add that in so you get a lot of emotion into your playing. And the last line now starts the same way. So you have G sharp, A sharp, C sharp, A sharp. And the ending, kal ho na ho, is F sharp, B with your ring finger, A sharp, and G sharp. So we go har pal ya ha, G pal jiyo. So F sharp, B, A sharp, G sharp. That's it. That's the entire piece with your right hand. Let's get into the left hand now of these last two lines, the third and fourth line. So we're finishing the first part with Dhup Zindagi, where our left hand plays A sharp, C sharp, and F, and our right hand is, of course, playing C and A sharp together, right? So from here, we just learned how to move our right hand and play G sharp, A sharp, C sharp, A sharp. But our left hand also changes to play a new chord. Now this left hand jumps to play these three notes, F sharp, A sharp, and C sharp. So notice that I'm moving my hand to accommodate and play these notes. Also see, it's all black keys, so you might want to keep your hand a little bit higher on the keyboard. So when this chord is played is at the end of this line. So har, pal, ya, ha. So with the ha of the ya, ha when you're playing the second A sharp. That's it. And then our left hand shifts chords to play F, G sharp, and C sharp. So see the first chord, F sharp, A sharp, and C sharp, then becomes F, G sharp, and C sharp. So that C sharp stays the same, but do practice this change until you're comfortable with it. Because you'll be making this change twice in these next two lines. 
So let's go back to that beginning of the third line. Har, par, ya, ha, together. And then when we play the G bhar G O, that's when the left hand changes chords to play F, G sharp, and C sharp. So at the end of that line with the U of the G O, G bhar G O. Let's do that third line one more time. Har, par, ya, ha, G bhar G O. That's it. And the fourth line starts the exact same way. So you have Jo Hai Sama, which sounds the exact same. Our left hand also plays a chord at the same time. And then we have the final bit. And your left hand plays that chord with the ho, the last word of the piece. So let's do that again. That's it. Change chord. And, and that's the entire piece. So let's play it slowly from the beginning all the way to the end. So let's start in our first original position where our left hand starts on G sharp, C sharp and F and our right hand starts with our middle finger on C sharp. Chord change. Back to the first chord. Position change. Oh, I messed that up. I'm supposed to play this at the end, right? So position change. That's it. Chord change. Chord change. And now. Great job. That was actually quite simple once you break down the song into all its constituent parts. When you're practicing, make sure you don't practice till you get it right. Practice till you can't get it wrong. Try and eliminate all those small hesitations and pauses that'll come and be really confident when you play. You'll impress anyone you want to show this piece to. If you enjoyed this, make sure you like the video, share it with some of your friends and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell for early access to our latest content. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you at the next one at SIF Young Artist where we nurture the artist in you.